evening to each and every one of you, and may I say Happy New Year, the sixth day of 2021. This is the Galilee Baptist Church. Welcome to all of our members, our friends, and those who are viewing with us this evening. We pray that you will be blessed as the pastor shares a word with us tonight. But before he uh, prepares, a, uh, before he shares the word, I would just like to read a scripture for you tonight, coming from Philippians, the third chapter, beginning at verse th uh, 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on, that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind, and if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. May God bless the reading, but most of all, the hearers and doers of his holy and divine word. I have read for your hearing. Philippians 3, beginning at verse 10 through verse 16. Let us pray. Most gracious God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come right now in the name of Jesus. Be kind to us, Lord God. You brought us, Lord God, all through 2020, through the pandemic. And Father, you brought us to see the evening of uh, 2021, January the 6th. And Father, we say thank you. So many, Lord God, started out on January the 1st that if you call their names right now, they would fail to answer because their voices have been hushed up in death. But Father, we realize that it's not because we've been so kind, or not because we've been so good, and not because we've done everything right, but it's all because of your grace and your mercy. And Father, we say thank you tonight. Thank you for letting our golden moments roll on just a little while longer. Yeah. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for, for, for uh, just being good to us. You've been better to us than we even have attempted to be to ourselves. Father, we just thank you for blessing our going out. Thank you for blessing our coming in. Thank you, Lord God, that we are the head and not the tail. We are above only and not beneath. Father, we just thank you right now, Lord God, for, for every blessing that you have bestowed upon us. The word tells us that you have blessed us with every, have every blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And we thank you for those blessings right now in Jesus' name. Father, we ask right now that you will forgive us of our sins because we know that we have sinned, Lord God, to this day alone, Father. We ask right now that you will be so loving, kind, and forgive us of our sins, our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. And we just thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Father God, we come right now lifting up these United States of America before you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you would look down upon it right now because, Father, I know the, the a country that says in God we trust. But, Father, everything that we are doing and everything that is going on right now does not show that we trust in you. So, Father God, I know according to your word, you said that when the righteous rule of the, you know, the people rejoice, but when, when those that are not righteous rule, Father, the people groan. So, Father God, right now in the name of Amen. Jesus, Lord God, we pray that this America will turn back to you, Lord God. We thank you for that right now. We pray for our pastor as he brings forth the word of God tonight. 
We pray, Lord God, that you will allow him, Lord God, to speak what thus saith the Lord, Father. We pray for those uh, that may be viewing it or listening to it tonight. Father, we pray that the word will fall on some listening ears and some receptive hearts. We thank you tonight, Lord God, and we just give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory, Lord, because of not only what you have done, what you're doing now, but what we know that you will do, Lord God. Yes. We know that 2020 is behind us, Lord God. So we're not going to spend our time looking back at past failures, past mistakes, Lord God. We're going to look forward, Lord God, to that which you've got, you called us to do, Lord God. And we know, Lord God, that there's a crown that's awaiting us, Lord God. But we've got to continue to stay in the race, Lord God. And we just thank you for that. We bless you. We praise you and we just love you. In Jesus' name, we do pray and give thanks. Amen, amen, and amen. The next voice that you will hear will be that of Pastor Coleman. Amen. Thank you, First Lady. Good evening to everyone. It's a blessing to, to talk to you uh, one more time. Uh, I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you continuously, after I looked at today, I had joyous uh, looking at our Georgia election. And today, and just how the, the switch can flip. And we need to pray for our president and pray for him and, and some of his uh, people. But... Tonight, I want to talk to you about the name of Jesus. Amen. The name of Jesus. And we solicit your prayers, if you will. When we use the name of Jesus, we are speaking with the authority of Jesus. Let me say that one more time. When we use the name of Jesus, we are speaking with the authority of Jesus. When we speak in that name, it has the same effect as if Jesus were standing there speaking to your situation, whatever your situation may be. He has given us a right. Every one of us who are born again a new creation, he has given us a right to use his name. Now, signs follow belief in his name. Signs are to follow those who believe in Jesus' name. Mark 16. Mark 16, verses 15 18. Listen to what he said. He said unto them, Go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. Then he said, Listen, and these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Now, there is no punctuation in the Greek. The language in which the New Testament was originally written, the punctuation that is in our Bibles are added by the translator according to their own judgment. Now look at Mark 16, verse 17. Listen to what it says. And these signs will accompany company those who believe. Now this passage could just as accurately be translated and these signs 
will accompany those who believe in my name. Now, I want you to understand, Jesus said it is important that, that, that we believe in his name. Let me say it again. It is important that we believe in his name. We must understand the authority that is our in the name of Jesus. The authority we have. We must boldly release that authority. We must boldly release that authority in what? Now, watch this. When we boldly speak and act on our beliefs in the name of Jesus, we can then drive out demons. Amen. Uh, we will place our hands on sick people and they can get well. But what, what, what we must speak and act on our belief in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, we have an, as, as, as believers, we have an awesome right amen now an awesome right prior to the completed work of jesus on the cross no one would even dare to speak in the name of god they would consider too holy or to be spoken aloud they 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 would inscribe inside the most holy place they were only known as to the high priest now, when Jesus gave us who are the believers, he gave us the right to use his name. It was an awesome privilege, amen, and should never be taken lightly, amen. Let me say that one more time. It's an awesome privilege, amen, amen? and should never be taken lightly. We, we, the, the releases Jesus' authority. Because Jesus was the Son of God, he had all the authority in heaven. Watch this. And because he is the Son of Man, he had all the authority on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. let, me, let me show you. Matthew 28 and 18. Then Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me, in heaven and on earth. Now, when we use, listen to this, when we use his name, an overwhelming authority and power is released. Mm. Amen? Amen. It, it is as though we are standing in the place and using his authority. Mm. Now, that mean? We have the power of attorney. Mm. Amen? When mm. Jesus gave us the legal right to use his name, he placed his utmost trust in our control. Mm. In legal terms, he gave us the power of eternity, a power of attorney, I'm sorry, to use his name. Let me say it again. He gave us the power of attorney to use his name. Now, in our judicial system, a power of attorney is a legal document that gives a person the right or the privilege to use another's name. When the person who has been so entrusted signs a contract on the behalf of the person and attaches a copy of the power of attorney to the contract, it has the same legally binding effect as if that person had signed the contract in person. Amen. That's the power of attorney. Amen. Amen. Here in God, when 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 Jesus was ministering on this earth, he was acting on the behalf of his father. Mm -hmm. Is that right? John 5, 19 says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. And 
whatever he does, the Son also does like matter. Now, we must, must remember, as we minister here on earth, we are to act on his behalf, the behalf of the Son. Mm -hmm. Amen? We must not use the name of Jesus to accomplish our own desires. That's right. Amen? Amen? Without first taking time to listen and hear from the Lord. Now, you can use his name in vain. Mm. Amen? Amen? Using his name in vain. It's, it's an attempt to use the name of Jesus to accomplish our own desires without discerning without first discerning God's will, mm. would be a use of his name in vain. Deuteronomy 5 and 11 say, You shall, shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless mm. who taketh his name in vain. His name is above all names. Is that right? Yes. The name of Jesus is above every name. Mm -hmm. Philippians 2, verses 5 through 11, Let this mind be in you, mm -hmm. which is also in Christ Jesus, yes. who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, mm -hmm. but made himself no reputation. Taking the form of a servant, coming in in the likeness of men. Listen to this. And being found in appearance as a man, mm. he humbled himself. Yes, yes. And became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Now, therefore, God also has highly exalted him. Yes. And given him the name which is above every name yes. of those in heaven and those on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Lord Jesus. Now, watch this every demon power has a name. Mm. What'd she say? Hmm? Every person has a name. Mm. Every sickness has a name. Mm. Every mm -hmm. disease has a name. Every scheme of the devil has a name. You're right. When the name of Jesus is spoken, demon powers flee. Mm. When the name of Jesus is spoken, cancer and mm. all other diseases have to bow. Mm. When the name of Jesus is spoken, Satan's schemes are defeated. Understand that the name of Jesus is a name above every other name. Every knee shall bow in submission to the Lordship of Jesus when the name is spoken in faith. Demons Galilee submit to his name. Turn to Luke chapter 10, verses 17 and 19. It says, Then the seventy returned with joy and saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpio, scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall uh, by any means hurt you. Mm -hmm. Matthew 28 and 18 tells us, Then Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority yes. has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Now, all authority has been given to Jesus, 
by using Jesus' name, we have the same authority on earth. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Now, first, watch this. We must believe in name. We, we are commanded to believe in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. First John 3, 23. And this is the commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another. Hmm. As he gave us a commandment. Now, we are to believe in the name of Jesus for eternal life. Mm -hmm. hmm? John 3, 18. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 20, 31. Mm. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, yes, yes. the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Now, one thing we must realize, we can have full assurance of our salvation because we believe in his name. 1 John 5.13, 1 John 5.13, these things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Now, let's look at another term, we, we, we believe in the name but we can ask in his name. Amen. We can ask. We are, as body of Christ and believers, are ask, we are to ask or instructed to ask in the name of Jesus. John 14, verses 12, 13, and 14. It says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, mm -hmm. and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, yes. and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do. Now, as, as Jesus got leave, as Jesus was leaving to go to the Father, he instructed the, his followers to use his name. He told them that, that what they would ask, he would do, so that the Father would be glorified in the Son. Mm -hmm. Amen? Now, John 15 and 16. John 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I told you and appointed you mm. that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatever you ask in the Father and in my name, he may give you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, John 16, verses 23 and 24. John 16. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask, the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy be made, be made, be full. 
Amen. Amen. You can also do everything in his name. What you mean, brother? We are to do everything in the name of Jesus. What wonderful privilege that is. Colossians 3 and 17 says that, and whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of, our, of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, mm -hmm. the Father, through him. Now, we, we, we should understand also consider that everything we do should be suitable to do in the name of Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. To do this could revolutionize our way of living. The apostles, the apostles used the name of Jesus. There's power in his name. The apostles and the early believers in the book of Acts, they boldly used the name of Jesus mm -hmm. and they had miraculous results. Amen? Mm -hmm. Look in, Let's look at Acts 3. Acts 3 chapter verses 1 through 10. Now Peter and John went up to the temple at the hour of prayer. Bob says it was the ninth hour. A certain man was lame from his mother's womb, was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms from those who entered the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And, and, and the Bible says he fixed his eyes on him with John and Peter, and they said, look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, silver and gold. I preached about this a few Sundays ago, about two broke preachers. They said, silver and gold, I, 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 I do not have. But what I do have, I give you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And what happened? He took him by the right hand, lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankles received strength. Mm -hmm. This was this man's day of deliverance. Amen? Amen. This is not the first time that Peter and John went to prayer meeting. This is not the first time... They've been by this man because they said he was laid at the door or, or at the temple every day. But this day was his blessing. I just want to tell somebody, just hang around the gate. Listen what he did. So he leaping up after his ankle received strength, he leaping up, stood and walked and entered into the temple with them walking. Listen to what he was doing. He was leaping and praising God, and all the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement. That's what happened to him. Amen? Now, there's power in his name. Faith in his name. Amen? Mm -hmm. Faith in his name. Uh, Acts 3 and 12. <clears throat> so when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Why look so intensely at us? And though by our own power, of godliness, we had made this man walk. Acts 3 and 16. And his name, mm. through faith, listen to that again, and his name, through faith, in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see 
and know. Yes, the faith which come through him was given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Now, another thing, there's healing in his name. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, as a result of the healing, Peter and John was arrested. They were held in jail overnight, mm -hmm. threatened by the religious leaders. Not, not to speak anymore in the name of Jesus. Peter boldly answered their questions about the healing. Listen to what he said in 4, Acts 4 and 10. Acts 4, verse 10. Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you hold. Not only healing in his name, but there's salvation in his name. Amen? Amen. Now, salvation and the results of Peter and John. Let's look at uh, you at the result of Peter and John using the name of Jesus ministering the healing to the crippled man, the number of believing men grew to about 5,000. Mm -hmm. Look at Acts 4 and 4. However, many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of men came to about 5,000. Mm -hmm. Our precious salvation is in the powerful name of Jesus. Look at Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. And we're going to get ready to close out. Nor is there any salvation in any other. Let, for there is no other name under the heavens given among men by which we must be saved. May God bless you tonight. May God keep you. Remember the name of Jesus. Come on, darling. Good night, everybody. Happy New Year. We Happy love New you. Year. We love you. And I'll see you Sunday at 10 o'clock. Amen. God bless you. God bless Amen. You.